Hi everyone, welcome back to African Real Estate. My name is Mungai Kihara and today we are in Tatu City, Ruiru. Tatu City is a special economic zone set by the government of Kenya and it covers an area of 5,000 acres. This city is a mixed development zone, meaning it consists of commercial, residential and industrial zones. About residential development, we have these developer unit homes and they have been doing very beautiful units in this locality. On my right hand side, you can see the year phase one and it's called Unity West. And on my left hand side, you can see the year second phase and it's called Unity East. In these estates, you have two and three bedroom homes and the print area of the two bedroom homes is 70 square meters and the print area of the three bedroom homes is 150 square meters. The development of these estates comes with social amenities like swimming pools, kids play areas, 24 hour security systems and very well paved roads. As you can see from there, this estate is very beautiful. I wish I had a drone to show you the true picture, but poverty has beaten me 10 nil. Anyway, the price of the two bedroom homes start from 8 million and the price of the three bedroom homes start from 16 million. But if you are an Ari buyer or a cash buyer, you will get great discount. When you come here, say you have been sent by Mungai Kihara from African Real Estate. Before I forget, the maximum speed in this city is 40 kilometers per hour. So if you have a habit of driving people crazy, you'll be arrested. From here, I'll take you to the show houses and you'll see how the two and three bedroom homes look like. Let's see the three bedroom home. From the main entrance, on my left hand side, you have the living room of this home, and on my right hand side, you have the dining area that opens to the kitchen. From there, you can see that the living room is massive, and it opens to its balcony on this side. This living room is sizable to fit a six-seater couch like this one, but if you have a bigger couch, you can do an extra seat here. On my right hand side, you have the focal point of this home, and this is where you do your electronics. But if you can't have a home where you do not face the east, you can also do your electronics on this other side. The balcony to this living room gives you the best views to the front of this estate. On my right hand side, you have the dining area to this home. And I like it that this dining area is massive. You have an extra space here that is not usable for now. But if you have something that you can do with it, you are welcome. The dining set is here. And as you can see, it's a six seater. It comes with these four seats for you and your family, add an extra bench here for the small kids. During the day, you'll get maximum natural light from these two windows, and during the night, you'll enjoy your moonlight from these hanging lights. The dining area comes with pentagonal duct tiles that makes this space look very posh. But before I take you to the kitchen, just look at this space. Beautiful, right? Wow, the kitchen is massive. On my right hand side, this kitchen comes with a breakfast table. And on my left hand side, the kitchen comes with a bookshelf kiss table. At the entrance of the main kitchen space, you have this area that has been set aside for your refrigerator. This kitchen comes with upper and lower cabinet. And I like it that this kitchen also comes with granite countertops. It fascinates me how attention to detail has been practiced in this estate. From there, you can see the other lighting that makes sure that your work table is very well lit. Next to me, you have this space that has been set aside for your cooking stove. Right now, you have a four burner cooking stove, but the space is big enough for a six burner. The kitchen also comes with its own balcony, and from here, you get the best views to the rest of the estate. This kitchen also comes with an island and I like it that the island hosts the sink area. The sink area is a double sink and it comes with a tilting faucet. Down here you have an extra storage. On the opposite side of the kitchen you have this space that has been set aside for all your kitchen appliances. Right now we only have a microwave but we have numerous sockets for your juicer and other kitchen appliances. The kitchen comes with several drawers here for your cutlery. And up here you have an extra storage. Before I take you to the kids' bedrooms area, the kitchen comes with some directional lights just to make sure that the kitchen is very well lit. The bedrooms area is on this side. Before I show you the kids' bedrooms, on my left hand side you have the laundry area. On my right hand side you have the shared bathroom. Behind me you have the first bedroom and next to me you have the second kids' bedroom. Let's see the laundry area first. The laundry area is of an average size and it comes with an ample space for your washer and dryer. The laundry area also comes with a sliding picture window. I'll show you the first bedroom.
The first bedroom has been designed for the little kids. Add, you have its bed area on my left hand side. Add a miniature closet on my right hand side. The closet is sufficient for a kid. And next to me, you have this space that has been set for kids activities. On the other side of the kid's bedroom, you have a bed that comes with a side drawer. Add, you have this platform where you can put your kids' instruments. I'll take you to the second bedroom. From the small kid's bedroom, the second bedroom is just next to it. The second bedroom is bigger compared to the first one and it comes with a slightly bigger closet and a balcony. This bedroom comes with a massive window and the closet adopts the same concept that we saw in the kid's bedroom. As you can see from there, it's beautiful and sufficient for your bigger kids. This bedroom is big enough to fit a 5x6 bed like this one and the balcony to this bedroom gives you the best views to the front side of this estate. It's refreshing out here. From the second kid's bedroom, I'll show you the shared bathroom. The shared bathroom comes with a WC, a shower cubicle here, and a floating wash basin. This bathroom comes with all the necessary fixtures that you may require. From here, I'll take you to the primary bedroom. And before I do that, just have a look at this portrait. Beautiful. The primary bedroom is on the other side of this home. And before you get into the primary bedroom, you have a space that has been set for your common bathroom. At the entrance of the common washroom, you have a wash basin and this makes a lot of sense because you can easily clean your hands while you are doing other activities in the house without getting into the bathroom. The common washroom is standard and it comes with a water closet and a tissue holder. I'll take you to the primary bedroom. The primary bedroom is the biggest and it comes with a massive space for the biggest everything. On this side, the space is sufficient for a king size bed like this one and a swing chair on the far end. This bedroom comes with three picture windows that give you maximum natural light and from here you'll enjoy the best views from every side of this estate. Just before I forget, the bed area even have an extra space for two side drawers and on the center part I can't get enough of this painting. It's breathtaking. The balcony to this bedroom comes with a sliding access and from here you'll enjoy the best morning sunshine. On the other side of the bedroom, you have a resting space for you and your partner and you have a small table where you can have a little conversation before you sleep or have a drink to celebrate your success. This bedroom comes with a massive closet and this closet is sufficient for you and your partner. From there, you can see that it adopts the same concept that we saw in the other bedrooms. The bathroom to this bedroom is here. And as you can see from there, it comes with a shower cubicle and this space comes with a water closet and a wash basin. You also have some towel holders behind the door. And that's all for this bedroom. From the three bedroom show house, I'll give you a quick tour of the two bedroom show house. As I told you, the two-bedroom home covers an area of 75 square meters and this is the living room and it comes with a balcony. On the other side of the living room, you have the dining area and the kitchen next to it. This is the laundry area. This access leads you to the primary bedroom, the other kids' bedroom and the common washroom. The common washroom also doubles as the shared washroom and it comes with a shower cubicle and all the necessary fixtures that you require. This is the first bedroom and it's meant for the kids and it comes with a raised bed and a study area. Next to the bed you have the closet of this bedroom. I'll show you the primary bedroom. At the entrance of the primary bedroom you have the primary bathroom and it comes with a shower cubicle, a water closet and a floating wash basin. The primary bedroom is bigger compared to the kids bedroom that I just showed you. This bedroom comes with a picture window and its closet is here. 
The bedroom also comes with a very beautiful writing. That's all for this bedroom. We have come to the end of the tour and I hope you have enjoyed. If you want to purchase any of these units, kindly call the contact in the first comment below. That's all for today and I'll see you in the next video. And as always, never stop watching. Bye bye.